Hi everyone. Well, this is super exciting. We're only 20 days away from Christmas. We're 26 days away from the roaring 20s. This is super exciting news. Um, and we've had another stellar month. It's like off the charts. Uh, there seems to be no end in sight to this Ottawa real estate market craze that we're in. So what are we seeing in the month of November? Well, we're still carrying less than two months of standing inventory. So that means that if no other new houses came to market, we'd have nothing to sell in two months. So that's a very tight sellers oriented market. Uh, the sales are up almost 11% from a year ago. So if you look at what that means is, you know, obviously seasonally November is a slowdown from previous months, but versus last year, the same month, we're up 10%, almost 30% less inventory. So that's what's driving the price increases, etc. So 1.9 months of standing inventory this November, three months worth of standing inventory a year ago. This slide here is basically showing what's happening month over month. So of course, October is a bigger month than November. We're seeing a seasonal change, 20% reduction in sales. That's not really that newsworthy, frankly. We'll see a smaller month again in December. Um, but again, what we have here is a real reduction in the active listings than we had even a month ago. So this is what's causing us still to be really tight and still having you know, multiple offers and things, even though uh, we're coming to the end of the year. So there's your graph of just seasonal changes. Of course, second quarter is where all the activity happens and we'll just have a, a slow decline throughout the end of the year. November is bigger than expected, bigger than last year, but of course, smaller than previous months. And December will be more of the same. Um, so this is exciting. Uh, average sale price in Ottawa has crested 500. So this is kind of like a new threshold for us, a new high water mark of sorts. We've got a 16.9% increase year over year on prices for that month, so almost 17% increase. And the condos are doing quite nicely at a 9.8% increase year over year. Listen, I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, we're excited to see what 2020 has to bring. I mean, my early prediction would be, I'm expecting more of the same. We just haven't caught up on inventory to change this. It's a very exciting time to be a seller and a bit challenging to be a buyer, but you know what? We're here to help you navigate through the process. All the best to all of you. We'll see you in the roaring 20s.